V-E-R-M-O-N-T, Vermont Spotlight. We're in Vermont's Mad River Valley, standing at the top of a round barn, one of only five left standing in the state. This barn and the 245 acres that it sits on has a history that goes back 200 years when it started as a dairy farm. It's seen many changes over the years and is now a Vermont retreat, better known as the Inn at the Round Barn Farm. Join us as we explore its history and see why its owners are taking a step back in time in order to move forward. We sat down with owner and innkeeper Anne-Marie DeFriest. Anne-Marie, tell us about the concept of a round barn. Well, originally, Doug, the Shakers believe the devil couldn't catch in the corners of a round barn. But there's also a practical side, right? Well, Vermont dairy farmers appreciated the gravity. They could have the hay upstairs, the cows being fed in the middle level and milked, and the manure down in the basement. Very efficient for dairy farming. So your family bought this in 1986. What was the barn like and the house, and what did it take to restore it? There were dead chickens in the barn. This big section of the roof had fallen down. If we didn't work on it the winter we did, it would have ended up on the ground. It would have been a lot easier for us to knock down these buildings and change this farm and start all from scratch. But we were into the restoring and the sustainability from the very beginning. That's a concept in which we built this place. So we restored the barn. We're in the process of restoring the farmlands. The cows pasture across the street, as well as right in the backyard. We have maintained the soils, keeping them organic, not using any herbicides or pesticides, and growing a lot of the produce. We, uh, we plan our menus based on what's coming out of the garden and shop for our food out of the fields from our local suppliers and plan our menus around that. We've partnered with a local farmer, Dave Hartshorn, and he grows and we harvest a lot of the food that's served here at the inn and for our weddings and our parties. What does it mean to have an organic garden? It means to have a healthy, healthy atmosphere for the food that you're putting on your plate. You wouldn't put anything in the garden that you wouldn't necessarily put on your plate, uh, with the exception of compost, that is. <laughs> you're in the field every day. What do you love about it? That I get to start with nothing, a barren piece of land, and create a masterpiece of vegetative art and I get to put a lot of smiles on people's faces when they're eating at the dinner plate. All right, well, we're supposed to pick a few things here for our meal. Well, let's, let's, let's start with an onion. Okay. And very easy to yep. pick, very easy to clean. You just peel off the outer layer just like this. Next, we deliver our fresh organic veggies to the Inn's executive chef and Vermonter, Charlie Menard. Hey, welcome. Hey, we have some fresh veggies for you. Yeah, you've been up in the garden. Yes, and when I mean fresh, I mean fresh. Yeah, our garden Just, is right up on the hill. Gorgeous. I mean, how lucky is that? I, it's amazing, and I'm excited to eat. So what are we making? What are you making for us today, actually? <laughs> well, I got up bright and early this morning. I got our clay oven going, put in some maple brined misty knoll chicken. You know, it's farm-raised Vermont chicken. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys are right on time with bringing the vegetables in. We can get those in there and hopefully everything's going to come out at the same time and we'll, we'll have ourselves a nice late lunch. So how long have we got? Well, it's going to be about 20 minutes. It sounds like just enough time to go make some cider. Perfect. From field to table to my mouth. The taste of Vermont. To enjoy the field to table experience for yourself or to learn more about Round Barn Farm weddings and cultural events, visit theroundbarn.com.